a king. Okay, yeah, that he, he's, the, he's, he's the heir the, to the he, throne. He's now sitting on the Iron Throne. I think that's right. how it's going to end. Right. But my thing is, how do you think, since that's where Daenerys and him are headed to Winterfell, and Bran is the only one who knows that he's the rightful heir? Not S- not just Bran. Um, Sam. Sam, Sam knows, too. Also knows yes, as well. he, he knows as Sam, well. Sam was the one to tell Bran that John's not a bastard. Oh, and that's what made him walk back into time. And yeah, that's right. You're mm-hmm. right, Doug. I'm sorry. But um, do you think that when they get to Winterfell and Bran and Sam let him know what the deal is, like, you know, he, you're the rightful heir, do you think that they're going to – you think it's gonna? You think it's gonna cause a rift between Sansa and Arya and John? Because you know, like you know, that's the Stark blood. You know what I'm saying? But John still have Targaryen. You know, people from the North don't fuck with the Targaryen. So, it's but like, he's also still have Stark. Tr- true. That's At the true. End of the day, he's true. still blood. Right. He still got rightful heir to both thrones. No, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So, like, but it might cause a rift at first. But I think I but think that's still that's still their brother. You know what right. I mean? They grew no, up with yeah, him. Yeah, because I think I think that's going to be a, like I think that's going to happen right away. But I think now that the White Walkers have breached the wall, I think they go get to that shit like ASAP. Like A-C-B-D. first episode, you know what I'm saying? First episode because the episode's going to be longer. So I think that war between the White Walkers and people from the north, I think that shit go get popping like top down on the north. <laughs> Absolutely, definitely, literally, top down literally on top down north. on the north. Real, so. yeah. It's gonna come down on the north. It's right. gonna rain down hard. But I, I think that they got a dragon. Yeah, they got an ice dragon. It's a rap, bro. It's a rap with the dragon. But I think somehow John or Tyrion are, is gonna have a connection to that dragon. I think they go bring that dragon back. And I think they go. But I, I don't know. I just, just you know, I, I'm optimistic, so I try to think optimistic. But you know, I think I think yeah, I think once John knows that he's the heir, I think it might cause some sort of rift between him and his sisters. And I think the people of the north are going to be kind of timid about serving him because you know, like they were already fam. timid about yeah, serving. Yeah, but I think him. it's I think it's going to be even worse now because that nigga got Targaryen blood in him. So I think that thing's the but you know I think but I think the Walkers coming in is going to is what's going to make the people of the north like fuck it. He's still trying to defend our land. Let's try to kill these motherfuckers and you know what I'm saying, keep our keep our lives and keep our keep our land and all that shit. But you know, but I'm excited though. I Final am season, excited. What six, six episodes left? Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, so it's like that's that's gonna be exciting. But speaking of that, y'all seen that uh, that deer disease? What are they talking about? Yeah, I like seen Doug posted like? the zombies. <laughs> zombie yeah, door, the zombie the deer zombie. disease Look, that yo, can possibly deer pull up to me, bro. I'm stabbing that shit thirty times, bro. <laughs> Thirty times. <laughs> where where was that at, Duck? They Bro, had, it was it's in, in like mad different states. It's, it's in twenty four states. Yeah, twenty four different yeah, it's, states. It's There's everywhere, bro. And I don't know how that shit just pulled up out of nowhere, bro. Like it, it, it didn't just pull up out of nowhere though. It's been around for a little bit. Oh, What's a little bit though? Mad like some months or some like some years, like a couple years. I call it mad months. deer disease. Let me look it up. I'm going for it right now. That's crazy. Yeah, because I seen I, that post, I was like, no, nah, I can't. Yeah, they. Listen, I was like, iffy with deer anyway, so it was like, mm. I, I fucks with I, I fucks with deer meat. I and fucks that, with venison. Uh, that I shit was in Bambi. Utah too. If something in Utah, bro, I'm good on the bango meat, bro. Like I'm good on the bango meat. I'm good on the bango meat, but you know. But yeah, Doug's looking that up. But yeah, I'm excited for I'm excited for I'm Game of Thrones. Lie. What was I looking up again? The um the deer zombie. What about it? Yeah. Just how long that has been out? Like how long has since has 1997? Since 1997. Damn, 1997. Why they just not telling us, bro? Damn. That's oh no, that's 22 years. I can't go. Yeah, that's they super wild for that. No, I, actually, crazy. actually, they found it in a deer in 1981. Eight, oh, oh damn. Whoa. Where at? Colorado. Oh, oh, they kept man. that shit under wraps. Oh, what though? But they they've been first identified since the late 1960s. So deer has been it's been around for a while. But you know things going uh, viral and social media right. being playing a, such a big role in uh, society right now. Right. Everything that was once like a hidden fact and a hidden gem is now becoming coming to the forelight. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You see, what, yeah, because the 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 artists crazy allegations was going on with men in Hollywood and all that shit. So, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised that more stuff pop up that been around for a long time that we just now actually getting 
information about. Yeah. But, you know, side tangent, but you know. Definitely side tangent. I mean, we can talk about. John, did you get stuff? Did, in pop did you give culture, your prediction for Game of Thrones, man? I'm sorry. Bro, I'm I'm not up to the latest season yet. What, what season are you on, bro? Hashtag not too sweet. <laughs> bro, I can't tell you what season I'm on because y'all. Hashtag not too sweet. I'm halfway oh, through season one. That's definitely not too sweet, bro. Hashtag I'm half, not too sweet. It's not. No, it's not too sweet at all. Wow. I, bro, because I. Well, when I first started watching Game of Thrones, I watched Game of Thrones like when it first started. Yeah. And it started off. That was another thing where it started off too slow for me. And I was like, I can't do it. And I just, it didn't. It no, didn't the work first out. season is slow, but it's yeah, like the first it's season is to like introduce everybody so you get to know who every, who everybody is. And the second season and on is when that shit hit the fan. When shit yeah, hit bro. The I'm a, you know I, that's that's going to be, when I get back to the crib, that's going to be my goal. Like, that's I, that's when I'm going to start on. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. going to get caught up on Grand While I got you here, Q. Yes. We got to talk about The Flash. <laughs> we have to. Bro, yes, because nobody talk wants to talk flash. about the nobody flash. Nobody wants to talk about the flash. Bro. <laughs> so first of all, his daughter is plotting. He's she's plotting on something. She's plotting on something and she's, she's working with Dawn. And I'm like, bro, this shit is fishy. I just wanna know what the fuck she got. Like what her secret is. You know what's fucked up? I think she ain't played by Thawne. I think she actually thinks she's doing good. Yeah. And Thawne is really pulling the strings on her ass. Facts. Facts, and she gonna end up bringing Shout out everybody to down. Yeah, he and she, she, yeah, he, he he peeping, bro. But and he gonna keep that. See, that's why I fuck with Sherlock, cause he gonna keep that investigation yeah. going no matter what, bro. He gonna figure out what the fuck is going on. Like, why the fuck is you here? Who you working with, nigga? I need to know. Yeah. So I'm 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 super excited, and it was crazy because so I was watching like Flash last week. And it was like they was highlighting the episode that didn't happen for like another three weeks or some shit like that. So yeah. I thought they was going on a break, but I think it's still it's still going. Like it came on this week. It came on this week. Yeah. So I, I'm hoping it's still going. So, but Flash is getting crazy. Yeah. Like yeah. Especially with their daughter back, with yeah. their daughter pulling up, like that's insane. And I don't know how the hell they gonna be old oh boy. Um, Cicada. Yeah. I don't know how the hey, hell they gonna beat Cicada. I, I I felt that way about the Thinker. I felt that True. way about Savitar. True. You know what I mean? I, I didn't necessarily feel that way about Nigga, I didn't know how they was going to beat the Thinker. Bro, like, right. Savitar, I feel Dog, like. that name was trash, a, though, the Thinker, bro. It is. Bro, it is. But he was anything but yeah. trash. He was him. far from it. Okay. He was far from he trash. Just, he because he knew see, everything, bro. Like, everything. he was a Thinker he for can, a reason, bro. He, he can just do knew whatever. everything. So it was, it was the speed of thought versus the speed of. He had every calculation. Yeah, bro. Calculated. Like, bro, that's like when you go to McDonald's, right? Right. right. You, you trying to order a double cheese, bro, mm-hmm. and they already know what you want in that double cheese. Already know what you want. Nigga, just okay. imagine, okay. like, your order okay. already rung up and you didn't even, like, tell them what you want. First off, that's the dopest McDonald's ever because it McDonald's is. ain't never it that is. fast. It is, and that's but. why he's the dopest, okay. one of the dopest criminals. Uh, criminals ain't that villains, Okay, I feel you. Okay, villains, villains ain't for, that. Okay. For, uh, for the Flash because right. that nigga just knew. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Well, you know. To and sh- wait, wait before you get on that. My bad. And because it was the first villain we had that wasn't a speedster. Yeah. True. True. Wasn't a speedster. Yeah. First Avatar three seasons. Was one, two. Uh, Thawne was one. Reverse Flash. Yep. And then we had Savitar and Zoom. Reverse Flash. First three seasons were our speedsters. And then we got the thinker, and it was like he don't know like how the fuck did he does he beat this? Yeah, because it's not just about being fast. True, yeah, you can't just rely on the. It was the one time his speed didn't help. Right, like you got to think outside the box. Super th- superheroes got to think outside the box. You think Cicada gonna die? No, you don't think so. I don't think so either. Just because that's not what that's Barry not what just Barry don't have a. If he dies, it's gonna be accidental. It's gonna be accidental. It's gonna yeah. It's definitely gonna be accidental. Right, like, trying to save somebody's life or some shit. Nah, not Cicada. Not oh, Cicada. oh, oh. But they said that I think I read somewhere that this is gonna be Flash's last season. I read somewhere that this at is least going for to, that Flash. I read somewhere that this is going to be uh, Cisco's last season. Yeah, yeah. I th- I think he's gonna take that care. Cause I was a sidekick, right? Yeah, like, dude, who's at Star Labs and shit. Yeah, shout out to Vibe. I, it's yeah, a vibe. shout out Vibe. It's okay. it's definitely a vibe. Thousand vibes. 
yeah. Vibe City. He got all the pop culture yeah. references. I so. I think I think he's gonna take that cure once he once they finish it. And I think he's gonna be like, fuck it, I want to be regular. And I'm, bro, but I if you had a super party, would you want to be regular? No. 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 I would never want my shit gone. I right. don't care what the fuck it is. Would you be a superhero or a villain? Hmm. Depends on how life comes at me. Type yeah. Shit, you know? However, I would want to be able to switch me. between the two. Switch between the two, like a vigilante. It, yeah. Or but you think about it, like in the eyes of certain people, we're all villains. Oh no, no, yeah, that's true. Oh, deep. Yeah, that was deep like, on us. I'm just saying, like uh, on Black History Month. Just, yes. Like, because I'm thinking, like Negan. Negan felt like he was legitimate a hero. Like he was out here saving people. Yeah, because wasn't he just like a gym teacher or some shit at first, and then he, yeah, uh, yeah, like I believe. So I'm not entirely sure. Then some crazy yeah. stuff happened. He yeah, had to harden like, up and get his shit together, and was like, no. Then the apocalypse happened. Right. He's like, if I gotta survive, I gotta be an asshole. Was yeah. like, and because in his eyes, you know, Rick was the villain. Right. But oh, that's yeah, another. Going against you. Yeah. That's another day. Right. So day, not the story. I want to get into the you know the NWO list of approval. You know, rec- what 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 you recommend that the listeners should watch, listen to, read, whatever. Like Dougie, I let you go first, man. All right, okay. So since this is our first podcast, I'm gonna go with two. The first one is something you should watch. Okay. And if you don't already watch it, I would say go and watch Gotham. Okay, this is yeah. the last season. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said earlier, I really like what they're doing right now. So, like, you know, I mean, this is the best origin story we've ever gotten from Batman because we never really get a Batman as a kid. Right. And how he dealt with that shit directly after. Right, because we always get them showing him, you know, the the criminal shooting his mom and dad and then he and the daughter. Right? He so and that's it, right. yeah. Right. And but I and I think that's partially because he had to grow so fast. Yeah. Right, you know? yeah. And that's they true. And, that's and true. they show that. They right. show how he had to grow up fast right. and how he had to take on a lot of shit really quickly. And, like, we don't get that often. And then they show the backstories of the villains. Right. Majority of them. I'm, so I'm such a binge watcher. I'm going to just wait until that last season drop on Netflix. Yeah. And I'm going to just binge just, watch just all six. All right. And just watch all so six. So, like, with Gotham, did they bring more Batman into it? Like, does he don? Is he got, like, a proto so suit or some not, shit? He has a proto suit. He uses it rarely. Right. But I I read somewhere that the the last episode we're going to finally get Batman like we're going to get like a legit, legitimate like Batman. Legit. Okay. Last season they were teasing the Batman like him having dreams about the bats and shit. Right. So like we're getting there, bro. Okay. I wish he already just, defeated Ra's al Ghul. So you know what I mean. I wish they would just do a Batman season, bro. Like come I, on. I, 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 would, really I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if that'd be the spinoff. You just bro, see it like needs a to be man. We we long overdue for that. Right. Like if we you just see like a older overdue. Batman, like a young twenty three year old Batman series because they got fucking Smallville. Yeah, I nah. want Batman. They watered Superman down. Like I'm done with Superman. Even though Man of Steel yeah. and shit, and that was my shit. But it's like yeah. they 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 pushed him too hard. Let's get some. Because Batman I, got the better villains, bro. It's like it's more darker and things like they dark shit. So it's like just keep it going. And that's why I wanted a uh, Batman versus Superman too. I liked it because they made Superman darker. Right, right. And that so, Gotham. What else? The defining moments in Black history by Dick Gregory. Is that a book? It's a book. Okay. Mm-hmm. I suggest for uh, this is Black History Month. Right. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. Respect. I'm big on that. Okay. So I would. Suggest everybody read Defining Moments in Black History, Reading Between the Lies right. by Dick yeah. Gregory. Okay. It's Defining Moments in Black History told by Dick Gregory. And definitely gotta I find it, it very informative. Right. Definitely check that. You never steer me wrong when it comes to your recommendations, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, Quest, I'll let you go, man. Anything you recommend to the to the listeners out there, man? Um, I think I got like three things. Go ahead. I think. So the first um, we're gonna step away from anime a little bit, but okay. I'm gonna recommend both to the Fire Festival uh, video. <laughs> that's the, both, the documentaries both, are my both shit. Both of the Fire Festival docs. That's my shit. No, I seen something that said that uh, Ja Rule trying to do a Fire 2.0. Bro, yeah, nigga, bro. I shared that shit. Nigga, no, he trying to do like, the 2.0. I'm like, bro, you better have that money. You for can't do water. shit, bro. Like, bro, Fifty on your masters, bro. You can't even perform. Yeah. Like, how you go? You can't perform at your own festival. Yeah. Like, he's just trying bro. to put the festival together and get that money, but yeah. they ain't, they couldn't pay for the water last time. He's trying again. to be an entrepreneur. Like, old nah, boy bro, gotta get out there and take one for the team again. Oh nah, they ain't living life right. Nah. nah. <laughs> I, 
I can't I can't go. Like nah bro, you Yeah, I would say uh Fire Festival. Um also I, cause I know a lot of people that